Hello guys, Flying Gucci here. Welcome back to our Super Germany run, part number two. We just researched nationalism and the first countries joined our nation. Saxony joined and Anhalt joined. I'm hoping for Mecklenburg soon. And let's have a look if you are still having... No, the personal union is gone with Hanover. So what I really would like to do is uh, get the relations up with them so we can do more things. I really want Hanover to join my country. There are a lot of... Um, they have how many troops? They have 13 troops. That's the most with, compared to all these counties. Hesse is also having 10, so we also want Hesse. We are making our relations up so that they might join us. Uh, let's see if Hanover maybe joins us uh, customs union. When we have 50 relations, we might have to bankroll them to get the relations higher. Um, that's for later. So we just finished our motor industries and we are making our first railroads. Let's subsidize this building. There we go. Mecklenburg is joining us. A bit more infamy, but there we go. We have a scandal, a devout scandal. From the evangelical church. Uh, yes, we want to make him very unpopular. That is exactly what we want. Let's do that here. Um, we do have 100 points. That's not something that we can do with... Yeah, we are not using our construction. We are still having iron and tools expensive. How are my tools doing? We did, we did conquer some... Uh, we did get some more provinces, of course. So we can actually change all these uh, pumps here. I think we have to put them on the highest options. Yes, you make a bit more... That... Apparently we don't need so much meat. Oh, indeed. So let's put it on this one. And the farms can use the fertilizer that we got from our livestock for ranges. Apparently potatoes is better and you are going to use the tools. There we go. We have a couple of silver mines. But apparently we don't need... Or silver, so let's not go with the silver. And hardwood. There we go. So what do we need to do now is get my iron and tools better. Let's have a look at my tooling workshops. Yeah, it's still a little bit expensive. Let's uh, build a couple of... Let's build three here and let's expand my steel mill with one level in Westphalia. And then I should maybe get a bit more iron. Yeah. Where are we making iron? Two in Silesia, five in Westphalia and one in Saxony. I think I will put them in Silesia because there are the most peasants. Let's build four more iron mines there. So this state will get uh, very um, yeah, clouded really. We need more infrastructure here. And we need more taxation capacity here soon. That's okay. Okay, that's going on. Uh, we are not doing any law change. So let's have a look at the laws over here. We could maybe change our government. But the intelligentsia are unhappy. So I don't think I can... I can put them in. We can put the Junkers out. I mean, I could do this, but that gives a bit of a radical, but that's almost nothing. You know what? Let's do this, because I want these to uh, be in my cabinet, because these are doing the laws that I want to change. For example, multiculturalism and cultural exclusion. It's going to radicalize people if I do this. Hmm. We could make the uh, church even less powerful if I go to total separation. That's not going to help, really. 
We have the schools already. Uh, maybe we should start colonial. We should make uh, some colonies. We can get our own dice. I think that's a good idea. We will get some uh, bureaucratic shortfall. Well, I know that we need extra here. So let's get that in the queue as well, actually. There we go. Hey, another one. Mecklenburg Strelitz. Strelitz. Tiny country over there just joined our country. Very nice. So we are having almost maxed the relations. But Hanover is cautious to us. The only way to get them higher is by starting to bankroll them. That's what I'm going to do when we have 50 relations. Uh, you pay them some money. And we you can get your relations to 80. And when you get an obligation you can absolve it. And then you get even more relations. And that is what I'm trying to do. Uh, what are my goods so expensive? Artillery. Yeah, well, we have more armies. So it makes sense. Inefficient agriculture. Migration attraction. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. We want more people. Okay, Hanover is now done. And he doesn't want to join my customs union. So I will start bankrolling him. And then you can see it goes up over 50 and sometimes you get a pop-up over here. Oh, we are very lucky. We have an obligation already with Hanover. So and when then you can absolve your obligation for 30 relations or you use it to put them on your side. But an obligation counts as 30 relations and we, we need 100 right now. So what I will do is I will absolve it for 30 relations. And now we have 80 relations with Hanover. And there we go. Now they want to change to our customs union. Because their stance changed. Because of that. So now they can join my customs union. We have very high relations. So what I think is going to happen. Is that uh, Hanover is going to be the next candidate to join my country. And that was pretty quick right? Uh, can I go with... I don't need to bankroll you anymore. There was a super... What is this? Yeah, yeah, it needs to go away. Who is this one again? Brunswick. We are improving with Hamburg, Bremen, Oldenburg. We have improved with Russia. Let's also improve with... Well, I can't do that right now, unfortunately. And we could improve with the German miners. Seems that they like me. I think Hesse was also one that had a lot of troops, so let's improve with him. Yeah, that's Hanover. And that is really nice, so we now have a connected land as well, and we have more and more troops. We now have 191, and we have 16 in the reserve as well, in North Germany. Can we get a good commander? Oh my god, you guys are horrible. Well, you have 5% and less supplies. So that is in North Germany. I have four commanders, one in North Germany, one in the Rhine, one in Poland and one in North Germany. Now Helmut von Moltke is your best offensive general. He's having 30 offensive bonus and your Friedrich Wilhelm, this is my Kaiser. Uh, we can remove him from the command as a general. But his, he is actually um, having a decent bonus, I think. Well, it's not that great. But he's okay. He can be a defender. So I really want to promote Helmut. And give him all the troops that we still have. Because he is my best offensive guy. He's a really good one. So we can start thinking about the war with Austria. Especially when people are getting uh, friendly with me. Because now we have 191 uh, troops. They have 250. We have 191. So we don't have enough compared to the Austrians. But maybe I can get my troops at a better quality. 
And what is this? The petite bourgeoisie can be happy or the industrialist. Well, they are already happy, so... They are both already happy. Then I prefer the... Oh, then I will do this one. And nothing really changes. That was really lucky with uh, Hanover. The duel. My king wants... Oh wait, can we kill our king this way? <laughs> oh, it's our prince. And Ruprecht Ubach. We can let them fight. And then some of them can die. <laughs> we can kill our... Uh... Oh no. No, I don't... Uh, we should stop it or we should ban dueling. This will lower the interest approval of the armed forces, but the intelligentsia gets a bit happier. Then we get the bonus. And how loyal are you? 17? Then we should ban dueling. There we go. Then we have an extra bonus. That's nice. So we have only tools that are... Uh, not that expensive. And iron. Rifling is unlocked, so we have rifles for the arms industries. Now, what is the difference? You make more small arms, which we don't need right now. Or, and you use more tools and steel. So we don't need to do this, but later on, absolutely. Do I want to do this one? Then we need to make more glass. Okay, need to check that out. We don't have the coal for this. We are not going to touch that. We will get the better. Some of my farms are still not doing the right thing. Let's just make more meats. Maybe we should export meats. Who wants meats? The British want meat. Here, there you go. Get my meats. We have too much meat. Atmospheric engine as well. There we go. So we have built all our potential rural buildings, what we can do in our country. If we look at our potential urban buildings, we can only build the Arts Academy. And for the rest, uh, for all other buildings, we have built everything. Uh, I want to put this on the best options. We could go to wooden passenger carriages. We use a bit more infrastructure, but we get more transportation. I think that's a good idea. And we need a new technology, so do we want to keep doing the military things? We will get logistics spread to us, then we can get more conscriptions. We can get more defense. I think that's also a good idea. The repeaters is for the arms industries. I really want the breach loading artillery, I think, before we go to war. So then we need the shell guns. And then I want field works and then the breach loading artillery. I think that is the plan. And then we go to war. We have to go to war because we also want to keep the armed forces loyal. Well, conscripts, we can now have 114 conscripts. Oh no, more, that just changed. 130. Super expensive, though. It's really expensive. Paper is expensive. There is Brunswick. Brunswick joined our country. We can get Lubeck in fairly easily. Can I start talking to these guys to join my... Oh, we need more relations first, so I can't ask them to join my market. What about Frankfurt? Let's look for countries that are cooperative. Would love to have Hesse on my side, there are a lot of troops there. What about Hesse Castle? Let's get that one. And let's get Saxon Meiningen. Only a couple of radicals, only giving minus three, minus two. But we also have loyalists. So it's uh, putting itself. 
canneries. Canneries, we need iron and a bit more fish. I think we can do this. My fish, then we need more fish, I think. What fish do we make? We don't make enough fish. So let's build a bit more fish then. I guess over here. We make how much fish? 50 per level. And we need how much more? 40. So let's make one more of these. We should have the clippers. The clippers will become a little bit expensive. If I do that. But then... Where's my shipyard? We also make more clippers with this, but we have... Oh yeah, we do have engines right now, so we could do that actually. We could make more clippers. And then... We will have no problems with it. Well, we can colonize now, so we are going to do this. Because we need our own dice. Let's go to Igbo. I think it's the best colony you can get. We just do a little bit of colonization. And to get market access we need a port here. Let's put that in the queue. And then we can do a new law again. What is going to help us? On the short term. So I want to click on the dedicated police force the moment we go to war. Because this uh, gives um, the military, the, how do you call them? The armed forces, a boost. And we want to use that boost when we go to war. I'm not going to do that right now. We could go to rights of assembly, but people are super angry if I do that. We could go to voting rights. I will not change my monarchy. I will stay a monarchy. But we can become a constitutional monarchy. Where people have voting rights under the king. The king is the, the leader and the people can vote. I think that's what I'm going to do. Do I also have my best taxation law? Yes. Proportional taxation is not ready yet. Only the trade unions like it, so we need to get our trade unions uh, stronger. Um, I think that I'm just going to get voting rights, really. So if I do this, then... Everyone likes this. Well, voting the to radicalize the Junkers. Let's not radicalize anyone if we don't have to. Let's just do this one. Seems a very easy to get law. No one is against it. Yeah, the king will be against it, but who cares about the king? <laughs> and uh, let's get more uh, colonial uh, growth. Yeah, we need a lot more steel. I think we have to add another level. We also need more coal. Are we still getting coal from our trade routes? Yes. I think we're going to stop those. Stop our iron routes. Clothing is still coming in from the French. We are exporting meat... That's good. Importing dice and importing sugar. Mm -hmm. So why do I suddenly don't need the iron anymore then? Because we annexed uh, more people. That is what it, why it is. So we don't have to upgrade our iron mines. We have plenty of iron in our country. We can build a bit more paper. Paper bleaching is not there yet. Yeah, this is a very profitable building, I think. Let's build three more. Let's make our government cheaper. And let's make our fish cheaper. I think it's the first time I'm building fish fisheries. Well, we are still losing money.
Yeah, our military buildings are just super expensive. Okay, a bit more of this. Hey, we can talk to them now, I think. They would get close to join my customs union. They are not there yet. Let's improve with Lubeck. As they are almost certain to join me when we have 50 relations with them. Let's go over our uh, buildings again. Is that better for me? I think we will get the sugar from the, the Dutch, so let's put that on. Oh, there we go. Hesse is going to join us. Nice country with more armies. Questionable practices. I'm not going to spend any money. Let's get rid of the of the church. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what a fishery is doing. Yeah, but now my clippers are expensive, so we need to expand one more level. Not a big deal. I might have to tax a bit more. That will give so more so much more radicals, but we need to fill up our gold reserves for the war, so I think we have to do this. I really think so. Ammunition is expensive. Protect domestic supply. We have to expand our ammunition factory. What is my ammunition factory using? I'm so blind. Ammunition plants. Explosives. Am I making explosives? Yes, so we need more explosives as well in my chemical plants. We need two more levels of this. We are not using our fertilizer, so let's export it away to someone that likes it. For example, the French. Yeah, we have to build all these buildings, so let that, let that happen first. Have a bit more Italians in the reserves in North Germany. Let's put it to uh, von Moltke, my best general, our offensive general. And now we have 200 troops. And if we raise our, our conscripts, we have more than Austria. So the time is coming that we can go to war and become the leader of the unification. We now have one, two, three, four, five people join us, and Holstein is on Austria's side. So we need to um, do the leadership play here. And here we can see we will face Austria, Krakow, and Holstein, and we will have our guys on our side, and then we don't know who is going to join who. We have Russia, Great Britain, and France as the biggest ones to join. So we really want to improve with Great Britain as well. There's the Confederation with Schaumburg. Not a tiny country. Super tiny country. Raymond wants an alliance. No, I cannot spend my points on it. Let's improve with Great Britain. And get his relations up. So you like me. France is cautious and Britain is good to me as well. And that is good news for us. So we have too much silver. But we are building our chemical plants and our paper mills up, so let's not trade more silver away. Because we are going to use it. That will make our silver mines profitable as well. Right now they are not profitable. I think. Nope. But they will become profitable. And then people are going to work there again. I don't have to intervene. Uh, let's put a, take a look at our... Productivity lines here again. Okay, we have the shell gun. The shell gun is also from your arms industry. Um, no, it's not. I forgot what it did for me. The shell gun gives us... Yeah, the smooth wars. Okay, so we did get it. Uh, how long is the breach loading artillery? Three years. That's a bit too long. So we will get the field works automatically. 
Let's take something else before we do the breach loading artillery. And then we go to war because this is giving us so much more attack value. I think we're going to do a production one. The water tube boiler is always good. Gives so much upgrades. Mechanized workshops as well. Then we have to use even more tools. Let's go with the water tube boiler. Let's do an industrial tech. Um, more enactment chance or... Yeah, yeah, we're not going to make Junkus happy in this playthrough. There's really no reason to make the Junkus happy. Hey, Saxon Meiningen is part of us. Welcome. Yeah, and I'm making my government super cheap with my paper. And that Im immediately makes the government... Uh, Goods go down, as you can see in this graph here. 16,000 of our money is spent on paper, so the cheaper we can make papers, the better. The wages are just the wages. We need to make artillery and small arms cheaper and ammunition. A monument to the king. King Wilhelm von Hohenzollern. Yeah, I think I will. Yes. Still waiting for you guys to become happy with me, so you can join my customs union, and then you can maybe join my country. You're not there yet. Improve with uh, Russia again to 50. So yeah, we do get a bit of infamy, because of all these... Uh... Hey, there's Hesse Castle. Welcome on board. Really nice. Don't have to do this anymore. I guess we are selling our clippers, our mano wars away. Yeah, that, that's okay. I can I can tell everyone that it's domestic, that we make a little bit more terrace on it. So more and more nations are supporting me. Yeah, we have to do the leadership play. What ammunition do I need then? I need so much more. I need two levels of this. They also need more uh, explosives. Yeah. Okay, field works. More defense for the army. That's going to be really good against uh, Austria. Really nice to have. Our glass is ex 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 expensive, apparently. Oh, Hesse is having low market access. That is not that great. We have to build some railways there. Let's build two. It also means that I need to build more motor industries. Oh. Let's uh, upgrade all these buildings first, by the way. Yeah, we have no silk. We could import silk, but we don't need more luxury clothes, I think. So let's not do that one. So what I can do is do more small arms and then also make more artillery. Let's see what happens if I do this. That will make things so much cheaper and look at the money. Yeah, it goes down significantly on the goods on the military buildings. The, the only thing is that we need more steel now. We don't have enough steel for this at all. So we really want more steel in Westphalia. We need so much more steel. Let's focus on steel first, actually. After these two buildings are done.
There we go, because that is crucial. There we go, Lubeck is joining us because we improved the relations. Modernizing the arsenal is because we got rifling done. We can get more uh, throughput. That is actually really good for the war. So let's go for that one. And we are becoming more chunky and chunky. Two battalions in the reserve in, in our colony and in North Germany. So let's make Hellboots get a promotion. There we go. We are low on bureaucracy. I think we can still put some of our uh, buildings on the higher mode. Yeah, let's go and put everyone on the highest government administration. And that completes the Central Archives journal entry. Bureaucracy or... Let's get the technology. Do we still not need more services? No, we can't because we have no glass. How much transportation do we have? Who is using it? Just the pops. I can put the transportation to better use. For example, with the trams here. Do we have... No, we don't have... The right things for that, I think. Do we make enough services this way? Yeah, so let's not upgrade those buildings then. It's costing us money. Right. Oh, is that the right one? No, potatoes. Need the liquor. All are going to use the tools. There we go. And all the units need to go to skirmish infantry. So the trench infantry takes a while. But the shrapnel artillery gives, instead of 15, it gives 30 offense. Need to use more ammunition, but that is absolutely what I want to do before we go to war. We'll make things so much easier. Good, the steel mills are getting built. Tensions are in the colonies. We are working on the steel. And we are working on everything. Okay, we have some voting now. So we lose a little bit of authority. And now we have two parties. The conservatives with the militaries. And the, uh, the progress party with the intelligentsia. Thought and action. I'm not going to piss off the armed forces, so we'll do the one with the intelligentsia. Because as you can see, they are no longer the highest point. So we have to do a law change later in the game. Now we do have nitroglycerin that gives us more uh, explosives. I can put this one on ammonia. We make 60 more explosives, use a bit more silver. We have this, so... Let's put this on. And now this building is not making a lot of money anymore because we are, uh, of course, we are ex exporting our fertilizer. But we are not using our explosives. We can do this in our mines. When are you going to use explosives? On the next tier. That's going to take a while. And it's also getting used by... The barracks. Guess also for later. Not here. Not even for the artillery. I don't see it. Maybe the naval base. <laughs> Not sure. Not sure at all. But now we have some explosives. So we could fix some of our uh, rural things to make more stuff. Our iron mines are super cheap. Iron is super cheap. That is actually good for us for now. But coal is a bit expensive, right? Nah, not really. Most of the things are actually not expensive. The lead mines are the most expensive. So if I do this, we make a bit more lead. 
Let's go over it. There we go. We'll kill a lot of people, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna go for it anyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, goodness. Okay, we have education up. So, our colony is growing fairly quickly. Apparently, uh, yeah, we have a huge amount of colonization spread. Let's finish this one in Igbo. But we can now make our own stuff here. Because we are still importing dyes, for example. And sugar. We are importing 400 sugar from the Dutch. What I can do is build sugar plantations here. Oh, there's no sugar here. Ooh. Okay, there's no sugar here. But there is dyes, and I think we need the dyes as well. Yeah, we are importing 146 dyes. So, let's Get it started. I don't know if there's a limit on how many nations can join you, by the way. Russia started an import route for iron. I don't like that all one bit. Protect their own iron, please. Gives us more... Uh, as for the Arts Academy, we don't have that built yet. I think I need to put all my own things on the Protect Domestic Supplies. So these are routes I don't control. The ones with my hand is the ones I opened. A bit more luxury clothes. Could get more terrace this way. Let's do it anyway. So I opened it, but I still said, no, I want uh, to get the most tariffs out of it. Now, not the sugar and dice ones. Some people are importing our tools. I mean, my uh, small arms need to be on my protect domestic supplies. This needs to be my protection. Steel needs my protection. Coal needs my protection. They need to stay away from it, really. Tools as well. That gives us more tariffs, right? A little bit. Okay. If the steel shortage is gone, we now have our elections done. Let's see what we are going to put in the government. Okay, the petite bourgeoisie will make it better. The Junkers will not make it better. Rural folk will not make it better. Do I need to put out the industrialists? Yes, but I can't do this because the evangelical church wants to join the conservatives. Then I need to do this. And the petite bourgeoisie wants to join the party. So I, then I need to put these ones in. Okay, let's put these ones in. Go. What are we going to change? I still need to go this way. I still need to go this way. I think we can go to multiculturalism. Yeah. The church will be very unhappy, but maybe not enough people join the church so that we don't care. So we don't get a big uh, revolution, because this way the the people in our country that we will join late that will join me later in Super Germany will not get discriminated, and I think that's very important. We can't have that, really. Yeah, why am I making more of this again? Oh yeah, because we need more ammunition. Ammunition. Yeah, now I remember. Okay, the gold reserves are growing. I'm very happy about that. We will need it. Now we have the water tube boiler. Let's go back to the military screen. Still three years to get that one. 
But let's go for this technology and then we will go for it, I think. Yeah, then we'll go to war. That's a good idea. Oh, we do have a new flag. So a constitutional monarchy gives this flag. I like it. And I will end the video here, guys. In the next video, I think the war will start with Austria. Hopefully we can get more people to join us. Then they are going to fight us. Our army will be ready with all the bonuses we can have. So please like, subscribe, say something in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.